Hi. Yo, yo. <laughs> Great. Hello. We made it. It's me. I just got back from my trip from Michigan. And uh, today I'm turning around and going to buy a new car. Oh. Again. <laughs> but first, Kyle has something to share about the boss. <laughs> okay. So, yesterday we put, I, I just got the brace brakes in from Vorschlag and I got the, the centric rotors in the front and the rear and I did the, got the rear brake upgrade to the 13.8 inches because these right now are like really, really small. They're like the eight inch rear rotors and they just don't look good. They don't really do Wait, anything. I thought you, huh? I thought you installed them. No, oh, the, we're getting to that. We're oh, to great. That. So, last night I was like, we're, uh, me and Patty Joe, we're oh, going right. to <laughs> me and Patty Joe. We're going out to uh, North County to go to an angsty car meet. And I was like, I want to stop. Wait, was it by the airport? Yeah, I drove right past that. It was wild. Yeah, I was with my dad last night on the way back from the airport, and I drove right past it, and I didn't stop. And I was like, Wow, that's a big meet. And my dad's like, You want to stop? I said no, because I was hungry. Oh, I stopped real good. Come take a look. Boo! It's got a, a G Lock R8 pads, which is like. A pad that shouldn't be on the street. It's a okay. All right, we're good. It's a metal pad with the centric rotor. It's a 14 inch in the front. Um, they're not in the rears, so I have race brakes on the front and worn out street brakes on the rear. So it stops really good on the front end, and then the back just kind of does its own thing. It also sounds like a train coming into the station. Oh good. <laughs> Very nice. Oh man. But when I, I like set all the brakes yesterday, I did like the break in process and on my way home while I was getting spanked by a C6 Corvette, which definitely was boosted, I'm not gonna let my pride say it wasn't. Um, I hit the brakes at like 120 and then I was I was doing like 45. It's it would have been slower to run. No time frame. Eventually he's doing 45, but it yeah. was it was <laughs> slower to run into a brick wall. <laughs> wow. No Mustangs are so okay. Alright. A good wholesome clip. Ruined. Touch the brakes. Why? Because they're hot? You do it. My furred racing keychain ready to roll. Ready. Hopefully, we will go home with it. Is it automatic or manual? Manual. Because I don't like. What are you? I don't know what that uh oh. Is. Bandana Kyle likes Megan Trainer. Oh, all about her. Driveway pull. Oh. Oh my. Oh, sweet <laughs> mother of God. Brakes work. Chris probably just had a heart attack. I got a mean comment on my video. He said, since when can middle school kids drive? Oh, oh! Never heard that one before. YouTubers read mean comments. Yeah, I've, yeah, never heard that one before. Good one, uh, Mayheezy592. So Kyle and I were just talking a little bit about this car that I'm going to look at and the deal. And uh, I want to take a second to talk about how good the experience has been so far. So when I first inquired about the car. I sent a message over Facebook because I found the car on Car Gears and then uh, it, so there was a link that took me to some Facebook messenger. So I messaged and within about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, I got a message back from Ricardo. Um, he was super nice, wanted to help, and uh, so I asked him some questions. He was really good about answering those and then he actually made me uh, four custom videos showing me things around the car, answering questions I had about it, and he just really took the time to actually meet the needs that I had. And I know for me, when I go to dealerships, um, I look young, and I am young, and I look very young, so it's always been hard for me. I'm easily dismissed from a lot. So there was a parking lot, or a, or a dealership, what, like a mile from my house? Oh yeah, side note, it's raining. Kyle has metal brake pad, like full metal brake pads, race brake pads now, and he's gonna freak out, so. Ah. So uh, anyway, um, there's this dealership about a mile from my house, and they had, I think, three 5.0s on their lot at one time. 
and I went to look, the first time I went to that dealership, I had a friend that works there, uh, he's awesome, good friend, and he was like, yeah, we'll try to, I'll try to get you a deal, whatever, um, so I went there to talk, he's like, yeah, come talk to my boss, he knows you're coming, and, uh, just talk to him about looking for a car. Yeah, so, you were there with me then, were you? Yeah, I was. Yeah. So, we pulled up, and I think I told him about the 240 I was looking at, right? Yeah. Yeah. I told him about the 240, and I guess he didn't think I had any money, or he didn't think I was serious, because I gave him a very low price for a car that I was looking for that he easily could have found, and I would have paid for it in cash. But he was, I think it was extremely rude. Yeah. He was very rude. And he basically dismissed it kind of ignored us and didn't really want to have anything to do with us and uh he didn't he didn't care i met him at a gas station uh, a couple days ago i ran in didn't even realize it was the same guy and uh he had like a pretty it was actually school bus yellow like 32 ford and i was in my car and i went up to talk to him and i was like hey nice color and he looked at mine and he's like i just bought one of those and i was like oh really like congratulations what year and he's like 2012 it's a fully option. Scott, I'm just like being like a real douchebag about it. I'm like, dude, you don't have to like play it up. Like, I, I own one. I have it. It's mine. I'm fully aware. And I was like, uh, what, what are you asking for it? How many miles are on it? And he's like, uh, it's uh, 50,000 miles. Uh, I'll get 32 for it, no problem. I paid nowhere near that for this car, and it had 40,000 miles on it, and it's a year newer. And more it's rare color. a more rare color. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's got everything. It's Recaro Torsen. Had, it should have had the cover, but it, the guy doesn't have it. Um, basically, I told the dude, I was like, well, have fun losing $5,000, and thanks for being a douchebag to my friend at the gas station to his face. Yeah, so that was the experience we had with him. And another time, I was with a friend uh, after we did a photo shoot, and I was in my 240. And so, naturally... 240 that this guy didn't think I could afford apparently I pulled up in it in front of his dealership and went and talked to another one of the guys about a different car there this salesman he was still kind of I don't want to say he was a douchebag but he just dismissive he was dismissive yeah he, he really dismissive. he really couldn't care less but he was just doing it because he was obligated to talk to me so I was the only one there um, so you know that was another turn off I walked back over to my car and I sat there uh, thinking about different numbers for the car they had on their lot and the, the owner of the place I think he's the owner of the, whoever the guy is that was a jerk to me he kept coming outside and pacing back and forth in the lot and just looking at me sitting across the street and I could tell it was bothering him so eventually I left and uh, didn't go back but it just sucks because I see him all over social media putting on this facade that he's some nice guy you know giving people great deals but my point is, you know, maybe he is giving people good deals and he's nice to them, but he was dismissive of me. I didn't appreciate it. And with sales and customer service, that's not one of those things that you can just flip a switch and treat people differently because of certain things. You shouldn't treat people differently because of things in the first place. But basically, that was a nightmare. And the car before the 240 was a nightmare. And the, you know, I was lied to and just misled and it was just put that was pushed and it was just horrible it's refreshing to have a salesman that actually wants you to be happy and isn't forcing you into something and that's the experience i've had so far with ricardo and like i said he's answered every question for me the dealership put the car to the side for me without even giving them a deposit on it and saved it for me while I was out of town for a week. He made a social media, he had like a post on Facebook. Yeah. It's he, like, the car's ready for you, Josh. Yeah, he said, he made a post of the car, it's all cleaned up, sitting out front waiting for me to come look at it. He made another post, actually, I didn't tell you this yet, uh, that had a link to my YouTube channel on it, talking about how excited he is that someone's documenting the process and how he gets a chance to talk about how the sales experience should be. And that's awesome. Um, and I'm really excited to do that, too. And it'll be good promotion for them. Uh, that's what this video is for. Uh, I really want to just highlight how good this experience was because I've never really heard of anything like it. Um, it's hard to come by someone that's genuinely in the business of good customer service. Um, so, that being said, we're like two hours away right now from the dealership. And it was about a 
three hour and 40 minute drive total. And it's 100% worth the drive to go somewhere that actually has good customer service. It's willing to, you know. Care about their customers. Exactly. Their customers first. Yeah, they're willing to care. And that says a lot. There's a dealership three minutes from my house that has Mustangs in it. They flip them all the time. But I'm driving almost four hours away. Well, Kyle's driving right now. But the point is. In the rain. In the rain. In the rain, I might add. In the rain. With my metal brick. Okay, it's not, it's really rain. Right. The point is, we're driving that far away for good customer service. So that speaks volumes about how much people appreciate that. So I'm excited to get there and for you all to meet Ricardo and hopefully some more of the staff. I don't really know. Ricardo's the man. Um, but yeah, he's been great so far. So Ricardo, I'm like positive you're probably going to watch this. So thank you so much so far. And I'm excited to meet you and check out the car and uh, hopefully take it home tonight. So. I don't think I've said in the video what the car is yet, but um, I guess it'll be a surprise. It's, it won't really be a surprise, but it'll be a surprise. So it's a Honda Grom. Yeah, it's a Grom. It's a Honda Grom. It's a good Honda Grom. Yep. So it's our moto vlogging. Um, that uh, that was an idea actually. <laughs> that was but uh, you know, basically, I just want to document the process of going through good customer service, especially as a younger buyer. Um, it's really refreshing to have someone be this willing to help out. So comment below if Josh should do Razor Scooter vlogs. Start the trend. <laughs> so this week on my Razor. Anyway, I hope uh, some of you, if you're new to watching my videos, maybe stick around and watch the build of this car that I'm going to be getting. But uh, if not, I appreciate you watching and checking this out. And I hope that I can get a lot of awareness of this good customer service so a lot of people can really see what it's like to have a good experience so they don't have to settle at a different dealership so give ricardo a call yeah give I'm him sure a call he wants to talk to you. for real he would he would love to help you out love to help you find something um i'm sure if this car doesn't work out for me he'd be more than willing to help me find something and he's just been great his posts on facebook are great uh you can just tell he's really in, in it to help the customer so um if it's okay with him i'll ask him to get to the dealership i might show some of our text conversations on the screen just to show how accommodating he's been but yeah, give him a call. Check out Carthage Chrysler. Um, information in the description. Yes, I'll yeah. put the information in the description. I'll put probably a link in the corner or something. I don't know. But uh, I always point to the wrong. Is it that? I don't know. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, you'll see when we get there. But I'm excited to share this with everybody. Dude, Challenge the All right. What just happened? So another school bus yellow 2013 Boss Zero Two. So now I'm selling my car and buying a C6 Zero Six. Alright. Hey. Oh, I thought for sure he was gonna pull me over. Oh it looks really clean. Very excited. Josh? How's it going? What's going on, man? Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, bro. How's the trip? Not bad. Hi, I'm Kyle. What's going on, Kyle? The driver. Driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There she blows, man. Just as a, just as a video described her. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, we're pretty familiar with them. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's got the uh, same axle back as the black one. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The Flowmaster Mystery Mufflers. Some impressions so far. It needs a few things here and there, but overall, it's a really solid car. I think I'm gonna go in with a low offer um, and we'll see what we can work out. So we're taking the Mustang out to test drive right now. We just uh, met with the dealership and uh, we spoke to him. We looked at the car for a while, probably like 10 minutes or so. And uh, Josh is out test driving it. We're uh, going on the highway. We're, and we think it has some uh, broken hangers on the exhaust. And other than that, it's just like some paint and cosmetic stuff. So we're driving around right now, just trying to listen to uh, the car and see if there's anything wrong with it, see if it shifts good, see if it drives good, real smooth. I'm gonna kind of stomp on the brakes, okay? Okay. Brakes work. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're there. They work. Yes. Am I good from my right? Oh uh, yeah, you're good from over there. First gear. First gear. <gasps> Them all terrain, all summer. <laughs> 
the uh, all seasons, the all seasons, the all season tires. It's like a 255 in the back. 45. Is it really a 45? So Josh is inside, wheeling, dealing, cash and checks, breaking necks, trying to make a deal on the 5.0. So I took the camera without Josh's permission and I'm outside uh, checking out the inventory here at Carthage CDJR. So uh, let's see what they got. It's time to check out the boat show, yes sir. I always really like this, like the black hood and the black roof and the blacked out trunk. It's not really like a stripe you would consider it, but like just like the look of it in general, I think is super cool. And if I didn't have stripes on my car, I'd probably consider doing something like that. The black roof especially, I think the black roof looks great. There's something super satisfying about how the antennas on all of these cars line up exactly perfectly. This baby can fit so much spaghetti in it. Some good dead memes out here, Carthage, Missouri, yes sir. I honestly really hope Josh buys this car. He had the V6, which was pretty much the same exact thing as this Model 5.0, except with the V6 in it. And we always used to talk about as kids how much we wanted a GT, how much we wanted a manual, stuff like that. And this is literally, Josh loved his old car so much, and this is exactly the same thing, just with the V8 and with the manual. And he's worked so hard to get here, and he's gone through so much trouble with the old 5.0. And now we finally, like, found a... Uh, car that's exactly the one he wanted he had, hadn't had to compromise anymore I feel I felt like he compromised a little bit with the 240 you know it's never something that he actually wanted and he had fun with it and he sold it which is what he bought it to do but like this this is the car this is the car I can feel it so good luck Josh I hope you can get it plus plus think of the memes look at the memes right now it's already making memes it's not even good they're just sitting there and they're making memes look at that all right so update Josh signed on the car. We're Josh signed on the car, but didn't have, I don't know how to explain. It. Okay. So basically, I'm going, I'm gonna have a loan on the car, and I have money that I was gonna put down today in order to take the car home. But they need proof of all the money before they can let me take the car. So basically they need a check for the full amount of the car that they can void whenever they get the rest of their money. I don't have checks. I've never had to use checks. I don't have any reason to have checks. The bank that I use, which there was one about 10 minutes away from there, they closed about 15 minutes before uh, I needed to get there. My options were one, still worth it. go all the way home and drive all the way back another day. Two, stay with my sister for two days with nothing Nothing essential. Nothing I need to look. Clothes, learn. toothbrush. Yeah. Masturbation. Okay. Or three. My sister has checks. She can meet us. And we take the check back for the full amount of the car. I already signed all the paperwork, so I'm going to hand them that check, and then we're leaving and driving home tonight. So that's what we're doing. Um, so now I owe Kyle gas. I owe my sister gas. I owe my parents for helping me convince my sister to do this. I owe Ricardo big time because he's, Shout staying, out to he's staying like, what, two hours? It's past. an hour and a half past closing right now. It'll and it'll over. probably be about an hour and a half before we get back. He's staying three hours after he's supposed to get off to sell me this car. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't have, like, I owe him big time. I don't have yeah, any, absolutely. there's nothing more that he could have done for me today. That whole dealership, Carthage, down there, uh, CDJR, I think is what yeah. it is. They're all so helpful. Yeah, uh, they're great. I wasn't even buying anything down there, and the guys were talking to me. And I wanted to know about my car, and wanted to know about Josh's channel, and said they were big fans. All of them were subscribed to you, by the way. Yeah, they all subscribed yeah. to me. So thank you guys if you're watching this. Yeah. You have no idea how appreciative I am that, that for all the help I've had. Um, even though the end of, I thought for once I would have a good yeah. transaction. No, of course not. It's like every Josh and Kyle vlog, something takes way too long, goes extremely yes. wrong. Yes. When I usually get free ice cream. Yes. <laughs> so basically, we're going home with that car tonight. Um, I don't know. We came if here to get the car. We're getting the car. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. It's not worth driving the four hours back. Yeah. Whenever we could drive. I guess it's a, what, an hour and a half round trip? Just about. To, uh, why are these on? Some extra lighting. Oh, okay. 
it's not worth sacrificing all that. And the way I look at it, Ricardo would have had to drive. He said he would meet me in Springfield on Monday. So he said he would have drove the car to Springfield, which is what, an hour? Yeah. So that's a two hour round trip for him. Whereas that's on Monday. Whereas, so he would have had to stay late anyway. But today he stays for an hour and a half longer and doesn't have to do that on Monday. He gets to enjoy his Sunday and not yeah. worry about it. The deal's done and it'll all be okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, super helpful guys down there. Yeah, they, and, they uh, really went above and beyond. Like most dealerships, you know, they wouldn't. Two.